will Donald Trump be the next president? Such a great question. You know, I have a lot of people that I see, a lot of friends that are commenting on this upcoming presidential election, and a lot of them are just bashing Donald Trump. Bashing him. There's a lot of people that are for him, too. There's a lot of people just bashing him. They're like, you know, he has no idea what he's doing. He's getting banned from networks. He's, you know... He's, you know, he's not thinking straight. I mean, the, the, the reasons just stack up why people are against Donald Trump. So, now, I'm not saying Donald Trump is the best ideal president. But out of the candidates that we have, and the candidates we've had in the last several elections, last few elections, last couple elections, I got to tell you, Donald Trump, the first advantage of Donald Trump is he's taking nobody's money, okay? Obama... They all, Clinton, Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, the way it works is you take contributions. You take finance, you take you take contributions to finance your candidacy, to your campaign. That's how it's done. So after Fukushima happened, who in their right mind, what president in their right mind after Fukushima happened would say, let's build more nuclear power plants? Well, if you're Barack Obama and your number one contributor is a nuclear industry, of course you're going to say that. And I got to tell you, no, no matter if you're Republican or Democrat, if you're the big ticket runner, okay, except for Donald Trump here in this case, if you're the big ticket runner, the way the game is played is you take contributions. You take the money for your campaign. And once you take the money, you're not, you're not for the American people anymore. You are for corporate America. You're there to make corporate America happy. That's how the game is played. And I can't stand these people that are that are so effing stupid. They can't see that. I mean, you, you've got to know how this goes, people. You're like, oh, Hillary Clinton, oh, this and that. Screw them. Screw Obama. Screw all of them. They're screwing us left and right because they're greedy bastards. They're greedy bastards. And that's what they do, they take money, they take money and sell their souls, they sell their values, they sell us out. We have a unique opportunity to have a president who's not taking money. And I'm not saying Trump is the best. I'd like to see Rocky Anderson there. I'd really like to see Rocky Anderson there. But we have an opportunity to take a president, to have a president that is not going to take private or, or corporate money to finance his campaign. This is a huge, huge advancement, people. Huge advancement. He's not in bed with anybody. It would be great if we saw all of our politicians in, in like NASCAR suits where you had all their sponsors and the bigger sponsor had the bigger logos. So you knew who you were voting for because you don't know who you're voting for. These, these candidates, typical candidates, are psychopaths. They're psychopaths and they take the money and run. They don't care. They have no conscience. They have no soul. They have no common sense. It's all about who's giving them more money and that's where their loyalty is. Your dollar contribution that you give and the, uh, you know, when you do your taxes is a joke. You're not financing them. You're not financing them at all. They get big bucks from these corporations. So, um, in the past, Ross Perot, right? He did a debate where he debated the Republican Democratic candidate. He embarrassed him so bad because again, he can say what he wanted to. He's not taking money from anybody, so you can say what you want. Donald Trump isn't taking money from anybody, so he can say what he wants. I know he's pissed a lot of people off, companies, networks. Do you know what? We should have a president that pisses people off. We should have a president that pisses people off because these corporations have been getting away with this crap for years, for decades, for a century or so. They've been getting away even longer with this crap of financing candidates. You're buying your candidate, okay? I gotta be honest with you. I live in a small town. I wanna know who my next mayor is because I know if I know who my next mayor is, I want him to be on my side, right? Same thing with the companies. You want the president on your side. That's why we're losing jobs to, to Mexico. That's why we're losing jobs to China and all over Indonesia and Asia because our presidents, Bill Clinton sold us out. NAFTA sold us out. And there's worse things that a Barack Obama's doing right now that are selling the American workforce out. Okay? I don't care. You know, 
I, I don't care what, what little good these guys have done. They're selling you out. They're selling us out. Obamacare is an abomination for health care. It's ridiculous. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. But, you know, the thing is, the health insurance companies were the ones who wrote it. The health insurance companies were the ones who had their wording in it. They were the ones who got their 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 ideal law passed through Barack Obama. It's 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 not Obama. It's the healthcare industry that got that had this passed. It's the healthcare industry that wrote this. And people don't see it. They think, oh, well, he got health care. He didn't get health care. The health care. The health care and the insurance industry got their way is what happened. They got their way and they're ripping us off. My insurance almost more than doubled. And I have all these high deductibles. And I, 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 I'm I, the one who's getting screwed. I didn't even vote for the asshole. <laughs> I, I didn't vote for the other asshole either. Because no matter who you vote for, when it comes to these corporate funded people, Republicans or Democrats, you're going to get the same results. It's just a different, it's a different person with the same results because the agenda is the same. Take care of corporate America. That's the bottom line. So Ross Perot embarrassed these guys in a debate, embarrassed them. After that, they don't allow independents to debate uh, uh, Orthodox Republican or Democratic, Democrat candidate because they're not taking anybody's money. They're going to embarrass him. When you hear those debates, those debates are major wins for corporate America. The American public's not winning when those pre those presidential candidates go and debate. They're not. They're not talking about Americans and two Americans. They're talking for corporate America. That's where t 20, 30 million jobs out of the country gone uh, in the last thirty years because of this kind of stuff. You know, it's just. So Trump wants to make more taxes for, for companies that are bringing stuff in this and create jobs in America. We need jobs in America. We totally need jobs in America. Barack Obama didn't do anything for Detroit. He's allowing these people to run all over them and do whatever they want. The banking industry was bailed out by Barack Obama. That's because the banking industry funds his campaign. We don't fund his campaign, so why give the money to us? Wouldn't it have been better if he would've, they would have given the money to us to bail us out of our own mortgages? You bail out the banks who got in trouble for doing unethical things to bail these mortgages out, right? So you bail the banks out and everybody still owes their mortgage. Why don't you bail the people out and say, here's 100,000, here's 50,000, here's $5,000, whatever it is to each individual who, who, is, who is in, in, their, in their, you know, whatever situation they're in financially and say, take this money and pay it to the bank. Where, where I wouldn't have even gotten the money. It would have just passed through me and said, okay, who's your bank? Your money's going to go right to your bank. Wouldn't that made more sense? You would have killed my debt as a, as, a, as a citizen, part of my debt, and the bank would have still gotten their money. But the banks got their money, and, their, and everybody was still in debt. It's ridiculous. And people are saying, oh, 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 Donald Trump's pissing people off. You want to piss people off as a candidate. You want to ruffle feathers. You want to take the bull by its horn and say, this is the problem. The problem is nobody... In America, these candidates and the most of the American people are not willing to admit what our problems are and face our problems. And here's a candidate who might not be, and I'm not saying Donald Trump is the best candidate. Again, I believe Rocky Anderson would be a great president. There are a lot of other people out there that would be great presidents. But for the choices we have right now, I think Donald Trump is probably is probably not even the worst of two evils. I think he's 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 the best choice that we have on a mainstream ticket like this, on a mainstream, who's getting mainstream publicity. Let's face it, Rocky Anderson, um, you know, uh, Jesse Ventura, these guys can't get the publicity that Trump is getting. They don't have the money that Trump has. And because he has his money, he can say, screw you to all the companies that have totally screwed us. And that's what it's about. And if you want to vote for Hillary, if you want to vote for these other people, man, you're just contributing to the problem. You're voting for corporate America. You're voting for the pharmaceutical companies. You're voting for, for the nuclear energy company. You're voting for gas companies. This is what you're voting for. You're not voting for Hillary. You're voting with who funds her. And you're the part of the problem. You as an American is part of the problem. If you endorse that, if you endorse voting for the worst of two evils, because I hear that all the time. I don't vote. I do people don't vote in, in presidential elections. So I'm not voting for the worst of two evils. I'm not doing it. You're still voting for evil. You're still voting for corporate America. I don't care what they look like and what they say. If you're an Orthodox Ameri uh, Republican or Democrat, you're voting for the same corporations in a roundabout way. And it's screwing America. It's your fault. It's your fault. If you voted in the last election for a Republican or Democrat, 
It's your fault that we have Obamacare. It would have gone either way. The, the insurance companies would have gotten their way somehow, some way. So it's your fault if you voted for these assholes that we have Obamacare and that we have this, this, this debt that's racking up and racking up and racking up. And why in the world do we even have the Federal Reserve, right? Why, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's crazy to even think this. It's stupid to even think this. So that's my, um, that's my rant on, on, on Donald Trump, you know? I think Donald Trump might be the one that might be the one out of the candidates that we have that are mainstream here that can actually legitimately win. Now, here's my opinion on voting to begin with. Ross Perot won the general election. He won the popular vote, right? He didn't win the electoral college. If voting worked, it would be illegal. Yes, if voting worked, it would be illegal. I think it's all scammed and this whole electoral college if you get the most votes why aren't you the winner really it's like a football game if you get the most points in a football game you won right it's not if you got the most points in the first quarter in the second quarter in the third quarter you know and you might have lost big time in the fourth quarter you know it's about getting the most points it's getting the most the most votes football baseball you get the most points you win <laughs> when you when you vote for a president, when the Americans speak up like they spoke up for Ross Perot, we still lose because the electoral college. I'm Chef Marcus Juliano. Thanks for watching this video. I actually got to get to work.